Okay, everyone. Uh, hello there. Um, let me get this hide meeting controls and you will press that. Okay, so today we are talking about the click removal in Audacity. So let's record something. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, doing a little uh, clicking. So uh, let me just get to that and The clicking there, we'll click here, we'll click there, everywhere, click, 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 click. Okay, so you notice uh, some of these uh, spikes right here, and I'm actually just going to delete a little bit of this. Yeah, so you notice a little bit of, yeah, right there, and the pops. Now, here's how we um, take care of that. So you're going to do Command A or Control A if you're on a PC. We're going to go under effect and we're going to go to click removal. So this is typically the threshold we're going to have. Um, I'm going to up this a bit to 210. Um, and the lower you go with uh, the threshold, it's more sensitive and it'll be able to pick up uh, those quieter bits um, of clicks. Let's uh, click OK. Okay, so yeah, you notice that right there, it dropped a bit. Um, let me go again. Let me go to like 110 and click OK. And it should. Maybe I'll uh, just, yeah, yeah, but that is the main idea of it. Uh, let me re-record something. Okay, so now I'm re-recording something. And I'm going to click on something. Okay, perfect. So this area right here is going to be our main focus. So control A, we're going to do click removal again. I'm going to have this preset to 110 because you see some of the spikes down here. And, and we really want to get these smaller ones here as well. Um, keep it at 20. You may want to do 21, 22. I've seen people go up to 40 with this, but um, I'll keep it, I'll go to 24 and see if this makes, and see how much of a difference this makes. And, and once again, you can play around with this and, uh, and it is a big benefit to having this because you don't have to deep dive in your audio track to find those clicks. So let's click OK. And, and then again, it's still there. Um, it picked up. Yeah, and, and it will focus more on the clicks as well. I'm going to drop this to 72. Going to put this back at 20. And you do undo. Yeah. And, and, and you'll see some of this as well. Um, also, now it's not going to get everything every time. So Notice right here, it's going to pick up there and then drop off a little bit there, there. And also I was talking a bit and moving my lips around here. So it's not, um, yeah, so we can focus a little more on this and I'm going to do click removal and just really get this down and um, yeah. Yeah, we can also do um, generate uh, silence here. Now, the one thing to keep in mind when you do that um, is that is that most if you're if you're doing an audiobook, you're not going to be able to to pass ACX standards because the noise floor level is 
going to be it, it's going to be infinitely low. Let's just put it that way. And and you don't want to typically do that. And you do want some sort of a noise floor with all your audio strips. So unless you are um, doing it for a presentation and you're not meeting those standards, you don't have to meet those standards, you can um, go ahead and do silence with that. But anything specific for an audiobook or you're doing this for even like a little short video clip, um, not, not a PowerPoint, but an actual video clip for YouTube, I advise you to not do generate silence and just go towards the uh, click removal. So um, that'll cover it with this. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comments. All right, take care.